Each year, Pantone Color Institute selects the color of the year, leading the way for trends in fashion, beauty, and even home decor. And this year's color is ultraviolet. And here to share more with us is personal stylist Jill Marinelli with ideas of how we can incorporate this into our everyday lives. Welcome back. Thank you. Good morning. You're here year after year. I know. I've with done the Pantone so many color, color Institute colors. Yep. How do you feel about this color? Because I know in, in yeah. years past, so, wasn't it like a mustard color one year? We've had, or we've had greenery, just different shades we've had that, Marsala. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, I'm getting mixed reviews on how people feel about this color. Yeah. Some people love it. Some people are like, eh. I think it's, it can be difficult to wear. Okay. So as far as my, you know, genre of clothing, it can be tricky. I will um, say, I feel like it'll look good on all skin tones. So that's helpful. That's true. That's true. It is, um, it's very vibrant. So mm -hmm. it could really kind of you know it's very lively yes all but. right so let's jump right in uh, let's start with things that we can wear what yes. do you have here so you're gonna see variations of this color so the true um, the true color is more vibrant like these uh, mm -hmm. kitchen utensils um, but the clothing you'll see some variations some darker colors that might be a little easier for people to wear a little less intimidating because they're not so bright mm -hmm. so this is just a cozy nice sweater for winter if you want to it incorporate really it into your cozy. wardrobe now yeah it's like it feels like a bathrobe almost. Mm -hmm. super cozy throw it on it's gonna look good and it's yeah. a little bit darker like like I said, then that ultraviolet. So right, it if you're be... kind of easing your way exactly into if it's, it, if it's intimidating. Now, if you're someone who loves to spend time in the kitchen, why not yeah. accessorize it? Yeah, and if you don't want to wear it, then you can just yeah. you know pops of color in your kitchen. I think it's great for that. With the trend of like a lot of white kitchens, mm -hmm. pops of purple will look really pretty. But that's a great idea. And putting in in something like a, a glass container, mm -hmm. you'll see the color through it, so yeah, it'll provide exactly. a little bit more. You can make some muffins and be trendy. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> they really are. You you will start seeing this ultraviolet in just about any. Thing. Well, that's the fun thing. So for people that love this color, you're going to start seeing it in stores in all areas, whether mm -hmm. it's fashion, home decor. So it'll be easy to incorporate. Now, I love this next idea for an accessory. Mm -hmm. Just something small. If maybe yeah. this purple just isn't your thing. Exactly. And you don't have to be wearing purple to wear purple jewelry. Mm -hmm. So, and if you like some bling, like this is some fun touchstone crystal jewelry. Yeah. Um, a little bit of a pop of color that you could even just wear with black and not you know, if you don't want to embrace the, the purple completely. Yeah, but still provide a little extra something exactly. to your wardrobe. All right, now I'm eyeing those shoes. Oh my God, are these those crazy or what? Super fun, and look at the heel. So if you want some fun ideas for adding purple into your life, the Pantone uh -huh. Color Institute website actually has like a lot of products that you can buy. They have really? like a $500 espresso machine, like really fun things. I love that. And yeah. next up, a backpack. Yeah, you know, maybe the kids need a new backpack and they want to embrace this color of the year. So mm -hmm. you can do backpack, you can do workout wear. It's super fun. This is one of my favorite items here. Yeah, and, uh, and like you said, you don't have to stay true to that Ultra, ultra violet. Exactly. There are different shades. This, I personally would wear this before I would wear this bright color. Uh -huh. It's darker, it's almost a neutral, and it's super flattering and slimming when you go a little bit darker. Now, why do so many people turn to, to Pantone year after year to get that inspiration? Well, I find it so interesting. They really are the color authority. And mm -hmm. so the director of the Pantone Color Institute has a degree in psychology. So when you, when you figure out kind of how they choose the color, it's all about psychology, how it makes people feel. They're mm -hmm. calling ultraviolet somewhat meditative and ah. um, sort of counterculture-ish. So they take into account not only like design, fashion, but really what's going on in the world huh. and how this color evokes feelings in people. So I find that super interesting. And you know what? After watching this segment and seeing all of this, now you're going to be out and about in stores going, oh, hey, there it is. Oh, yep. There it is. You're totally going to notice it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for sharing all of these yeah, wonderful ideas. Different ways to incorporate it. Like I said, you don't need to take the full plunge and dress head to toe in ultraviolet. If it scares you, then just go accessories. Right. If yep. not, just grab a spatula. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for sharing these ideas and wonderful ways to work ultraviolet into your year.